And throughout this region, GNS scientists are poring over the freshly ruptured Kekerengu faults. They're looking for evidence of previous earthquakes and hoping to discover what it might mean for future events. Now, our reporter Tracy Neal is there, and she spoke to Russ Van Dyssen of GNS on site, on the site of the fault near Ward. Right now, we're standing on the 2016 rupture of the Kekerengu fault. The Kekerengu fault is one of the is the major player of the plate boundary through this part of New Zealand. But why we're specifically at this site is that just 11 months ago, January 2016, myself, Professor Little from Victoria University and other colleagues actually were studying the fault at this location to find out how often it makes big earthquakes. So this was before the one that just happened and the the, the the results of that work were that we found out or determined that this is one of the most active faults in New Zealand. It makes big earthquakes about every 400, 300 years. So we had found this out with our geological studies prior to this the earthquake that just happened. We knew that it was an uh, active fault capable of making big earthquakes. And uh, we did that by digging holes across the fault, trenches. We've got a backhoe excavator here. And then we make detailed uh, maps of, the, of the, the trench walls, is what we call them, and, and can uh, map the different layers that are offset or not offset. They were, they were peats, they were plant material. Sorry? And, okay. And we um, dated the, 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 the materials with radiocarbon dating. And, and that's how we piece together the history of this, the fault rupture here. And when I say big ruptures, it just, they, they would have been similar to the ruptures we had right now. And one out, you know, three of them in the last 1,200 years, now four in the last <laughs> 1,200 years. So it was, uh, in some, some respects, it was very rewarding to have done the work, understood that this fault was quite hazardous. Prior to this, we had assumed, not assumed, we had assessed that it, it, it's in the National Seismic Hazard Model is that the building code is based on at a, as, as a, a very active fault. So the buildings around this area, knew, uh, the strengths, the loadings the buildings had to be built to incorporated a fast-moving, very active fault. So in some regards, we, um, in many regards, at least where we're standing, we got it right. The, 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 where we studied, this trench, the trench is only 20 meters long and 100% of the rupture went right through it. So we captured, you know, the, the fault ruptured where it has ruptured in the past and that's where we were working. Russ Van Dyssen of GNS talking to our reporter Tracy Neal who was also filming that and you could see the land there and it just looks like some giant creature has had a tantrum and torn it up. Quite remarkable land damage.